Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the validation rule and validation text properties in tandem. Setting the validation rule property allows you to use the expression builder dialog box to create a specific condition that will only allow data entry that matches the specified condition into the field. For example, you could specify that field entries for a birth date field cannot be a future date. Once the rule is in place, you type the error message that you want access to display when an entry does not match the specified criteria into the validation text property. To set a validation rule on a selected field, you must enter an expression, which is much like an Excel formula, into the validation rule property. You can either manually type it into the box by hand, or you can use the Expression Builder dialog box to assist you in creating the rule. To use the Expression Builder, click into the property field, and then click the small ellipsis button that appears at the right end. This will launch the Expression Builder dialog box, where you can use the buttons and functions listed in this dialog box to create your validation rule. Just click OK within the Expression Builder dialog box when you are finished to insert the rule that you created into the property field. To then set what error message the user will see if they enter a value that violates the validation rule, click into the validation text property and type the text message that you want to display into that box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.